Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. Much appreciated. There's been new updates here on New World, Rising World. And I've been trying to wait as long as I can. Because I didn't really want to, you know, bore you with the small stuff. But, you know, it is some pretty big stuff. It's a pretty big update. And it's pretty cool if I had to say so myself. Especially with the blueprints and all the... Uh, the smaller, the smaller little stuff like the barrels and the spears and stuff like that, and then chests. I guess you're now able to put stuff into the chests and you know collect all your small stuff now, which is pretty neat. I had to say so myself. So I'll have that in the video for today, and a small a couple other things. I'll be messing around with the blueprints. That's one thing I never got into in the old world was the blueprints, which. I'm kind of hoping if my if my experimentation serves me right, I'll be able to actually take my castle from my old world and possibly transfer it over in the same file into the new world. I'm going to try that uh, sometime here pretty soon just to see if I can do it. But I don't know if it's possible or not. I'll find out here pretty soon, and I'll I'll keep you guys updated on that. But... I'm going to get right into the video. It's going to be a pretty short one today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want. No big deal if you don't. It's not the end of the world. I'm not too concerned about it. But I do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. And uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, good rest of your month, good rest of the year. So thank you. And we'll get right into the video. Alrighty, guys. Well, today, I, I've got everything already made so I don't have to bore you with all the small stuff. And just to kind of get right into it, yes, if you can guess, I was messing around with the blueprints a little bit earlier. And I I think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't actually... Oh, wait. we got to go over to the barrel. This is one of the new uh, part of the update. Is in your barrels. Your, he calls it a chest, but it's you know the barrel. I noticed not to get too off off subject. This barrel has to have a cover on it, which it makes a lot of sense. You you can't access the non-covered barrels. You can't access them, which is you know just a small little tidbit. I mean I'm sure it's kind of a no-brainer. So and which. I'm sure you guys noticed if you played it for a little while, you have to have uh, certain chests near, you know, you have to have a certain chest in order to make certain things and or you can make it here, but you have to have this chest near here. I don't know if that'll stay like that. I don't know if that's just a like a small early release thing. I'm not too, too sure. So I'm sure I'm sure you'll you'll make it to where like it. The old rising world, I'm sure you'll make it to where you have to use this or this without, you know, being next to each other like the old rising world. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, a lot of this is early access, so a lot of it's going to change. But let's get into here. See, I have an empty blueprint. Yeah, I must have gotten rid of the other one. I was messing around uh, the other day with my, uh, my primitive spear, and I was, because I had a, the new workbench with me but I'm over here just like stabbing stabbing stuff and I ended up breaking because this thing's pretty strong I don't know if it's gonna stay like that or not but I was over here poking just to see how many hits I can I, I do it and show you guys but then I, and I end up uh, busting this up into pieces because I just hit it once see see what I mean it busts holes into the ground you're actually able to collect stone which I'm sure that's not gonna last but yeah, I went over and just hit it once, and the thing busted up into pieces. My modern workbench, which took me a little while to make, but it is what it is. I didn't really mind it too much. It was just a little funny thing I was messing around with, and kind of one of those "what the heck" moments, you know. So, but actually, you can you can actually throw the spear, which is pretty cool. Let's uh, throw it at this. So that's left, that's right click, and then left click to throw it, which sticks right through it, which is pretty cool. And pick it up again. You can jam, try and jam people. 
It's one thing I kind of wish that, that he had was like the hands out and about so we can punch, you know, punch stuff. Which would be pretty cool, I think, a little small implementation. But you're probably asking why I have this going on over here. Well, this is for my shooting targets. Get rid of that, put that in my inventory. And I want one of the ones you put on the walls. I'll grab all three of them. And we'll worry about that here later. But uh, we're going to need that later too. So, But we'll just do one thing at a time. And we'll, we'll get these placed up on the walls. And just, you know, a simple click. Grab the other one, which is really cool, actually. And we'll get this thing moved around a little bit. Which is, they all look really nice. Very, very well done. It's pretty simple, right to the point. And I'm kind of curious if the blueprint, if I, if I take the blueprint and I copy this, is, are those two going to go with it? It's kind of a curious thing to me right now. So we'll find out here towards the end of the video. So stick around, watch it. Uh, now you probably could fast forward to it, get right to the good part, right? So, uh, oh yeah, you got the small primitive stone spear, which I'm not 100% what that does. A little bit more. Oh, look at that. Can I... Looks like you can like, cut stuff with it. I'm sure you probably can... You can go and get... Uh, you can make leather and stuff like that after you, after you kill a animal. I'm trying to... You can knock down a tree. I don't think you can actually. It's pretty cool. I haven't messed with this yet. It's pretty amazing to me. But I don't want to get too off the uh, off the rails here. We'll get right into the uh, the really awesome part. We'll throw the spear at it. Look at that, right on the money and the nice little effect afterwards. That's cool. Probably should have made a couple of them. Oh, dead nut. Perfect. I like the effect. Now, let's say I want to go just below it. That's awesome. It's a nice effect, JIW. Really nice effect. Go off it just a little bit. I like how it, it does have a arch to it, so you got to see if I go back a little bit farther. See how much of an arch it has to it. Oh, it hit the same spot, the white spot. Oh yeah, so you, it does have that arch to it. So you gotta compensate for it, which is awesome. A lot of games don't have that kind of stuff, and it's such a small, it's such a small little, little thing, but it can be big too, you know. So we'll do the, yeah, we'll hit the white spot again, just close, just to prove that there is an arch to it. Which is really cool. Let's try getting a uh, a target from this far back, just above. Ooh, and look at that! Nice little uh, I like the effects after it hits the stone. Ooh, almost close. Try it one more time. I like, I think it goes to the left a little bit too. I'm going to go do center. It does go to the left a little bit. So the way he throws it, you got to overcompensate for that too. Unless it's the wind. It might be the wind. Wait for the wind to go away. Oh, 
But wait for the wind. Wait for the grass to relax a little bit. We'll stay centered. Is it going to relax? Right now. We'll wait for a nice breeze again. See, see if it moves it. Yeah, maybe not. I thought maybe the wind was taking it, but I think it's just the way he's throwing it. It's pretty natural, which is pretty cool. I like that. That's a lot of fun. So let's get to the blueprints. I have an empty blueprint in my inventory. Grab it. And we shall... Oh boy, hit buttons. Come over here. I'll be very curious to see if that goes with it. Saving it. And we'll call this a shooting range. See, the only reason... The only reason I, I'm kind of curious to see if my castle will, will save is because it goes into a folder. So if I'm able to take my old Rising World and transfer that folder over to the new Rising World, I'll be, I'll be very happy because all of my work on the old Rising World would be decent. But I think, I think it's it's not possible just with the, the scripts. Like he's been talking about the two different identities. So we'll find out here in the in the long run. And I'm gonna try, physically try. To see if it works or not but I do remember him saying that it's it's all gonna be like you anything you've done in your old rising world is not gonna be transferable maybe the save game is what he was talking about I haven't really been up to date on his on his page so and uh, I think let's put it into a blueprint the blueprint uh, folder and we'll hit the save button and then we shall so this shooting range so grab this select blueprint ah and it saves the oh that's awesome so we can take that go over here and place it on this side of the map which is really cool actually For no apparent reason, I can have my shooting range over here with all these. Now, can you pick these up? Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure I just discovered a bug. Or is it a bug? Because... I just cre I just recreated instead of having the to, to waste your materials. Now I just created double my materials easily. It is still a new see now I got yeah, now I got a bunch of shooting. I wonder if you could throw the primitive spear in there. <laughs> but thanks guys for watching.
I appreciate you guys if you guys gotten this far. I just wanted to do a quick one. I didn't want to make it too long. Just wanted to, to keep keep you guys updated on the new stuff that's coming in. And I will keep you guys up to date. There will be more videos of the new world coming out. I'm trying to wait a little bit longer for new materials to come out. I know I know he did he did bring in new materials. I am not 100% sure because he put in like 30 plus materials. That's including like the uh, yeah, the bunch of new wood materials, different designs, different stones. It it's endless almost for all the stuff he put in. Uh what was the other ones? Yeah, the window frames. That's what that's new too to it, which is pretty neat in itself. Which is a bunch of new stuff in here. Trash can was a new thing too. I don't have the uh, iron plates for it, but which that's a new thing, which is really nice. You can throw all your stuff away, so you don't have such a messy. Even though it does probably spawn away, maybe it won't in the future. So it, it, the trash cans are gonna be a necessity to have but different primitive tools I know the paint roller is nice the, the paintbrush is nice if you guys are interested in all this all, all the extra the new stuff let me know the steel yeah which I don't I don't believe the sickle steel the newer style was in the old rising world I would like to, I think the next, the next, uh, the next video for the new world, I want to, I want to make like a small, call it like a smaller camp, campsite for, with all the, the older stuff, you know, the primitive stuff, and then maybe upgrade it here and there just to have like a nice, nice small series, early, early access, small series, nothing crazy. I want to before I get too far into this. I want to, I want want him to update, and once he gets to a final product, then I'll start building like I do in the old rising world. I know all my time in the old rising world is going to be a waste of it, but I'm enjoying it a lot right now, and I'm trying to embrace the old rising world. And once he has all the updates come in from for, for the new rising world, and he's done with it. Then we'll get right into the new world because I don't want to put too much time into this and then have have it be all for nothing, you know. So I want them to get a new the new generation of the world here before I get too far into this. Right now, all my updates and stuff like that are for just to show you guys, seeing showing you what's new, stuff like that. So I do appreciate you guys clicking on the video and watching this far. If you did, much appreciated. And uh, I hope you guys have a good, good week. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.